Hi friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I wanted to welcome you to another Wild Card Wednesday video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's card, I'm featuring the Falling Flowers stamp set. I got this stamp set a while back. It's in the Occasions catalog and I have not used it once. So I am uh, using my embossing buddy and I've smeared that anti-static powder across the page and I am stamping with Versamark ink which is a clear sticky ink that we use for embossing. So this ink is slow drying so it will capture and hold on to those embossing crystals or powders that we pour on top. So just I was asked to explain a little bit on um, how to emboss. So there you go. So here's the white embossing powder and I've sprinkled it on and tapped off the excess. And I personally like heating from behind when I'm um, heating Whisper White Thin cardstock or layering weight. So now I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, which is a water-based ink and it is safe for alcohol marker coloring. And that's what I'm going to do with all these images. So you can see I'm going a little crazy with the stamping because I have a show on my computer that I am watching. And yeah, I'm just going to town. I'm coloring. Um, I will show you just a little bit though because um, eventually it gets really tiresome. So I lay down uh, a coat of the lightest color and then I go in with my shadow color or the darkest color and then I sort of blend it out with the lightest one. It's real simple. Using blends is just a lovely way of coloring. Like there's, I, there is a little bit of practice but it's pretty forgiving. If you screw up, you just take the lightest marker and you smear it away, or you just cut the image out if it starts to bleed, really. So um, I think, you know what, these remind me of marigolds. I don't know if it's a marigold, but anyway, I colored some pink and some yellow and some orange, and then I, you know, did a, the whole gambit. Basically, I used the whole fa color family of um, the alcohol markers from Stampin' Up! Called blends. And so now I'm using my Sweet Sugar Plum ink and I have some sponges here and I've also gone in with Soft Sky. I'm just sponging on the ink. I sped that up really fast because it's like watching paint dry to be honest when you watch somebody sponging because it really took a long time. You have to go slow and in order to get a good coverage. I love sponging. It's my favorite technique. Okay, so I'm using Tombow because I'm out of Fast Fuse. So I had to um, use some Tombow to adhere that front petal to my thick Whisper White card base. And then can you imagine I fussy cut that? I fussy cut everything here, like the branches and everything. It's crazy. Anyway, so now I'm taking two dimensionals and I'm layering up that pink flower right in the center. Now, if you notice, notice that like I've completely forgot to put on a sentiment. I'm not thinking. I am just creating now at this point. I'm putting mini dimensionals on. I'm putting glue on some of the pieces. And um, I quite like floral arrangements like this. But um, yeah, I wasn't really thinking about the sentiment. And I know that there's, um, you know, a space there that's, but I didn't like the sentiment there. It's so funny. And I stuck it out. You'll see in the picture at the very end that it, I, I did actually, oh, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's all good up until the very last minute. And then you're freaking out <laughs> and I didn't want to, anyway, you'll see at the end, uh, oh, just sometimes I shake my head and go, what the heck am I doing? So I'm lifting pieces up here. I'm gluing in. I'm just trying to make a cluster. And I think flowers look better like this when they're clustered because it looks natural or like a bouquet. So um, yeah, I added some blue ones in and I left my red and yellow uh, flowers off. I just went with the pink and the blues because those are the colors that I had for the back. 
So, okay, we're almost coming to the end here. I'm using my tweezers now. Got my, um, finally got uh, the tweezers out to help me place things. And then um, I'm adding my enamel glitter enamel dots and I use the pink and the blues and I put them for the center of the flowers I did look at the yellows and they were just kind of too in your face so here's that for you it comes from the blooms and wishes stamp set oh you know I was just praying that it was gonna work I use my archival black ink because it will uh, stamp over embossing powder melted embossing powder but if you shine this in the light you're going to get that shine of the flower underneath and that's what I don't like about this card but anyway that's my share for today thanks so much for joining me and I will catch you again soon bye hey thanks for sticking around to the end of the video on screen are two more videos for inspiration click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.